Hello everyone, got another post bag video for you today. More items from AliExpress. Uh, if you've watched the last ones, you know the drill. Uh, open the items up, I'll explain what they are, I'll explain what I'm gonna use them for, and I'll have a link to the item in the description below. Uh, if you wanna purchase it, click through and go grab them. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look. Four post bags today. Ooh, pretty. This is some ribbon cable, multi colored. Uh, and that's all it is, really. This is going to be for a secret project that I will tell you more about in due course. But I am after the color. One. Here, so these are okay. Well, so four items here, and one here. So these are all lily pad. Um, like wearable Arduino project items. So this is a NeoPixel or WS2812 uh, LED, so RGB LED. Um, and with all these, they basically got little sewable edges to them, sewable connections or, or alligator capable connections. So you can easily prototype and sew these into projects. Um, that's just a single NeoPixel WS2812. This one uh, is a, a push button just for activating something. Uh, again, it's got two connections which you can be sewn onto. I'll use some alligator clips. Um, easily get this set up and add a user interaction into a project. Um, what is this one? Oh, this is a little tiny slide switch. You can barely see this one. Let's get it out. Um, you see that? It's got a little slide switch. There you go. Again, same setup, connections. Uh, and you got a little user interaction slide switch. And this one, which is very cool. These are five LEDs. Uh, which you, they're all connected at the moment. You just break them off and they're all individual. Uh, I think Ad Adafruit call these sequins, uh, but they are wearable LEDs uh, that you can sew connective thread to or use alligator clips. And just a quick way to set up and prototype circuits. Um, I was going to see if one of my daughters would be interested in setting up little projects really quickly. Instead of using a breadboard, uh, you just use some alligator clips. And this, which has nothing else to do with it, uh, this is an ARM STM32 prototype board. Uh, I had a project. Uh, it was actually a 3D print project on 3D hubs uh, and it was to redesign a case for a LED cube uh, which used a bunch of NeoPixel 28, uh, WS2812 LEDs uh, but what was running it uh, was one of these little boards. It wasn't an actual board but it was the chip itself. I just thought, oh what's that? And I did a little bit of research into it. I uh, realize that it's kind of like the next step up from Arduino and uh, Atmel chips using ARM um, uh, STM32 chip, which just has more resources, more beef, um, and more capabilities than your standard classic Arduino. So yeah, I just wanted to buy one of these. They're dirt cheap now, like one or two pounds, one or two dollars. Uh, I just wanted to have a play with it, see what was possible. 
Interesting. Next item. Uh -huh. This leads on almost like I knew that it was there. Alligator clips. Ten of them, lots of them. Let's get these open. Yeah, lots of alligator clips. Really neat, really tidy. Raw. Uh, and the idea with these is I've got a few at the moment, but I wanted a few more. And you could basically quickly set up a project and set up connections and have a circuit going really, really quickly. Well, that's the idea. And sometimes when I'm breadboarding, even a breadboard isn't universally enough and I have various components connected to other things and I just want a connection to connect from one to another and I just need something to grab two leads and yeah, always use some alligator clips, very handy. Last one, just a quick one. A lot in this one now. Ah, another LED panel, yes. How many of these have I bought? Uh, this is a Max 7219 panel. Uh, this is a pre-soldered one. Got the chip on the back. Uh, if you can see inside. Um, yeah. Just standard panel, always need these for little displays, uh, giving user feedback and notifications. Uh, and I think this was 90 pence, so it's dirt cheap. Always need one of these in, and you got a couple of header to solder them onto. Really handy, always need them in. What is this? This is a adapter plate for a ESP8266 uh, board. It's for the uh, ES12F or 12E type boards. Um, and you surface mount it to the board and then you have these breakout pins which you can access the GPIOs and the, uh, volt and the voltage ins. Yeah, it's just a handy little prototype little board so you can access uh, the chip boards. What is this? If I can open it. Nice. This is a battery and power management board for a Wemos D1 Mini. So this is an ESP8266 board, um, the Wemos uh, variety, and it is, as it says, a battery shield. So you have USB power and charging uh, to a LiPo battery, and it provides external power to your Wemos uh, device. Again, very handy. You can have a wireless Internet of Thing thing running without being connected to a wall. And if you program it well, it will hopefully last for weeks and months. Maybe. Without getting this open, actually will. This is an IRF520 MOSFET board. Um, basically it allows you to drive high current things from a microcontroller like an Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Um, again, just a handy thing. I think it was like 50p is, or a pound. It was really cheap. And instead of having to wire up a stand, single MOSFET and the capacitors, uh, it's just on a board itself. Uh, yeah, very handy project projects. 
And these are for my multimeter. pair of power leads, positive and negative, uh, which actually go to a set of tweezers. Uh, and ideally these are for SDM, surface mount components. Um, you can check various things like diode polarity, or you can check uh, continuity or resistance. Uh, and instead of having to stick your probes in, you just tweezer. See, for example, you would tweeze it like that. Or you want me to find out, uh, set, check this LED, just tweeze it in between there. Yeah, very handy. And again, this was only about two, less than two pounds. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers.